Hi, in this session I'm going to show you how to remove the background color of an image when you copy it over another image. So let's for, say for example we have these two smaller images that are copied over this image but we don't want this white background to show up. We want it to be like transparent like this. Now there's two ways that we can do it. Now one way to do it in PowerPoint 2010 and another way to do it in other versions that are before PowerPoint 2010, say for example PowerPoint 2007. So I'll go ahead and show the first way we can do it in PowerPoint 2010. So let's say for example we have these two images and we want to have this white color become transparent. You just click on the image, go under the format tab, under remove background, and what's going to do is the background, that white background is going to be covered with this magenta color and with these guides what we can do is resize this guide to indicate where we want the image to become to have the background removed once we selected that go ahead and click keep changes and the background color has disappeared now maybe a little bit more tricky with other images where you don't have as much area for PowerPoint to figure out how much to remove so say for example we click on this image and we go to remove background and we resize these handles here and click keep changes and what it's done is it's removed that little tail area and the antennas let's go ahead and undo let's say we didn't want to have that done so we would have to kind of go ahead and do a little tweaking and to do a little tweaking it's probably better to increase the size a little bit so you can see it a little better so what I'm going to do is just make this pretty big I think the biggest it'll go is Let's see. 400. So what I want to do is I want to select areas that I want to keep. So I want to keep this antenna area. Let me go and select over it. So PowerPoint's smart enough to figure out it's this whole antenna. And I also want to keep this antenna and this other part of it. Let's see if we'll select the rest of it. Good. And let's go ahead and select the endpoints of the antenna and the endpoints of this antenna. Now this tail part is going to be a little tricky so you might have to do a couple selections of the areas you want to keep and maybe areas you want to remove so go ahead and click that. See that? It picked that up of the center here and maybe up here. See now it's picked up everything, the white parts in between. We might have to remove those later but let's go ahead and click the other areas these are areas we want to keep we'll have to take care of that one well, maybe let's undo that one let's try let's select this one and, and delete that mark Go ahead. we're going to select the delete mark and click on that and go back to select areas to keep and let's try to do something a little bit closer no, that didn't work. So, so you, as you can see, we have to tweak it a little bit. So I'm gonna go ahead and just select another area here, and maybe I'm just gonna have to try to remove those areas later. Go ahead and uh, mark areas to keep. I'm still in the mark areas to keep. All right, so let's mark areas that we want to remove. So this white part here. Let's see if we can take care of that. So you can see it's a little bit tricky. This maybe we're gonna remove this part first. Yeah, that took care of that. That took care of that. And maybe we want to see if we can remove this part. That's good. Let's see if we can move this part here. Mm, maybe we'll add the other one back. Let's we still have mark areas to remove. Let's see mark areas to keep. Let's see if we'll take care of that. Mark areas to keep. Let's try mark areas to remove again. Let's see if that'll work. And then mark areas to keep. Let's see if they'll take care of that. So you, so you can see it takes a little bit of tweaking to do this. Let me go ahead and go back into the fit the slide in the current window and let's see if we can do keep changes, see how that worked out.
So actually that wasn't bad. So you can see like when you have some parts of your image where it's a little bit harder for PowerPoint to figure out which part of the background to remove, it's going to remove it all and you'll probably need to adjust it a little bit. So that was how you can do it in 2010. Actually it's really pretty fairly nice feature that they have this remove background feature. Now if you didn't have 2010, you had PowerPoint 2007, there's another way you can do it and basically that's just to make the white color transparent. And it's actually easier on this particular example than on this one. So let's do, do this example first. So if I click on this image and I go under the color feature here, this color icon, I'll click on that and what I want to do is I want to set the transparent color. And what it's going to do, it's going to turn it into this little drawing or, or this little drawing tool and I just need to select the white background where I want it to be transparent. Once I click on that, everything else turns transparent and you can see I didn't have to do a lot of tweaking here with the tail or the antennas. It's a little bit different with here if I tried it. So if I click on this and I go under color set transparent and I select the white part, you can see that the white colors within the wings of this butterfly turn blue, they turn transparent because I selected white as my transparent color. What I need to do here is create a, another shape that overfills that and turn that white and basically layer it uh, below this. So let me show you what that means. I'm also going to increase this to make it a little bit bigger. And so what I want to do is go under the insert shapes field and, and select this freeform shape. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just basically s select the areas where you can see this little light blue line. I'm going to select these areas where these white shapes should be and let's see I'm just gonna select and it's, it doesn't really have to be that neat you just basically want to have a shape that covers all these dots or areas where you want it to be the color that had turned transparent in this case it was white so I'm gonna select that let's see and then just try to click it over the la the beginning point and it'll select a kind of a, an outline of that area. So I want to turn this, right now it's kind of a dark blue, I want to turn this white. So I'm going to right click it and go under the shape field color and make it white. And then I'm going to set this in the background. So the image of the butterfly is on the top and this white silhouette is in between and then this image of the tulips is in the third, it's the last image, it's, it's at the bottom. So basically it's kind of like a sandwich. So I'm going to make this the second image on the layer. So I'm going to go ahead and click, right click and go send it back. And basically what happens is the white that was transparent, uh, it goes, it flows, there's no color, but the white that's in the second layer, it shows through. And so that turns it white. So that's your workaround for that. If you don't have PowerPoint 2010, you can just use the transparent feature there. And that's how we can remove a background color when you copy an image over another image. So I hope that helps. Thanks for watching.